Hi there, kids and families. My name is Pastor Cody Natland, and I'm the pastor of Moran United Methodist Church. And I am so glad that you have joined us this summer for our VBS at Home Vacation Bible School program. I wish that we could be together in person, but uh, that just wasn't possible this year with the pandemic, along with the heat and the wildfire smoke we had. We knew that it just wasn't possible this year. So I hope that you got those bags of supplies that we've dropped at your doors. If you haven't and you would like them, please call the church or email us and let us know that you need those supplies, so that you can fully join us. Uh, it has a number of different activities, all the supplies you need for those activities as well as the full curriculum so that you can lead these activities that we have shared with you, either uh, have them led at home on your own, or if your kids are old enough to kind of lead their way through it on their own. Parents, I encourage you to, to engage in some of the questions and activities along with your kids so you can teach them about the, the, the goodness of God and being part of God's creation, along with these videos that we are offering here through our website and on our YouTube page. I was hoping to get these videos posted a little bit earlier of myself doing some of our outside activities that uh, I hope get our kids outside outdoors, especially as the smoke and uh, and heat have dissipated a little bit. Uh, it's a great time to get outside and I hope that you're able to do that. I'm only just now finally able to get out and ride my bike a little bit and get into the, the fresh air. And so uh, better late than never, and here I am recording some videos for you. So today I'm recording our video for the first session of our Vacation Bible School, which is on the theme of God's creation. Remembering that God has created the earth, created each and every one of us, all of the plants and animals, and all that we see around us. I'm going for a little bike ride today, as you'll notice, because I'm wearing my helmet. I'm going to go on a little bike ride around Prairie View Park next to the church and see the ways that, that humans and God have worked together to create this little piece of God's creation together, uh, changing what was a big open field into a beautiful park with grass and trees and ball fields and playgrounds and a swimming pool and water slides, all of these things that are are created by humans or planned by humans, but we have to rely on God to bring the trees and the green grass and the white and yellow flowers that we see blooming right now and the cattails, which we'll see in just a few minutes. Uh, I imagine that many of you have been here to Prairie View Park and you've enjoyed God's creation and human creations here at the park, as I know that my family and many of you who have played on the playground here or you've been to the pool. I know that Charlie had swimming lessons here at Prairie View Park a couple of years ago, and uh, it's a joy to be in this park. If you're nearby, I encourage you to come check it out, spend some time, play on the playground, or ride your bike around the loop out here, or go for a walk on uh, the beautiful paved trail that they have. I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places at this park. Uh, I'll pass by on the way some of what are probably your favorite places of the water park and uh, and the playground, but uh, right at the it'll be the northwest corner of Prairie View Park is my very favorite place in this whole park, and I'll tell you more about the reason uh, that is on my way over there and uh, once we arrive. So again, if you ever want to see it, it's right by the entrance to the parking lot, uh, the main parking lot for. Uh, for the park right off of Freya and uh, I'm going to take us there but it really is it, it was a spot created by uh, by the park by the county when they made the park but uh, it, it mitigates the the water runoff so when the water runs off in the park and there's lots of rain the water has to go somewhere and not all of it soaks into the ground and so they've created kind of a wetland area and uh, I find that that is a place where God's creation comes to sing and to celebrate life. And uh, it's just a beautiful, fun place to be. Uh, as I think about where I'm headed right now over to that section, uh, I think of when I've been out here with my kids. And we've gotten about here, kind of across the park from, uh, from the wetland. And we were able to start, this was in the spring, and we were able to start hearing some crickets and some frogs. And it was during the day, it wasn't even dark yet. Uh, and we could already hear crickets and frogs. And so Charlie and I, at least, I don't remember the other kid, if uh, Cedar and Aaliyah were, were with us or not, but I know that Charlie and I rode over there as fast as we could because we heard this, this amazing sound of God's creatures. 
and we wanted to see what they were up to. So we got over here and what we heard was a bunch of frogs and the frogs were loud. They were boisterous. We got over there and we saw that there were birds flying around and there were butterflies in the grass and uh, at the cattails. And it was just a wonderful, joyous thing to see the ways that God's creation has come here to this place. The trick is, though, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, there's not any sounds of the frogs right now, but it's a little bit challenging to try to find that moment where God's creation is singing its song and being that joyful. Because as soon as we got over here, what was so loud, and we could hear it all the way across the park, as soon as they heard us and the disturbance that we were bringing, they stopped completely. And so I'm just going to give you a, a quick little, a quick little, uh, little show, a little tour of, of this little wetland spot. So you've probably seen it before. Uh, the entrance to the park is, is right over here uh, behind me, and we've got the, the main parking lot right in here. So it's just this little, this little wetland runoff area with tall grasses. And as you can see, there's, there's cattails growing in there. There are some beautiful yellow flowers down here and some purple and white flowers. It's really beautiful right now right here in the middle of this neighborhood. But if you come at the right time, and it may be that if you come around uh, around nighttime, right as, as the day is turning into night, you may still be able to hear those frogs. I know we have a, a frog that's been croaking fairly loudly right, right at the church, right somewhere outside of the sanctuary. And uh, even right now, I hear a little bit of, of some birds and some other sounds out here. I don't know if you can hear them or not, if I'm quiet enough. But I wonder about your own neighborhoods. Do you have a place like this where you have encountered God's creation, either hearing it or seeing it, experiencing it in some way? I don't think we have to go very far to find these kinds of places. I think that God meets us right where we are, reminding us that God's creation is beautiful and that the ways that we interact with it can be beautiful and life-giving. They can be challenging and destructive at times when we don't take care of God's creation. But when we do, we can create beautiful spaces where creatures begin to come together, birds and butterflies and frogs and all of those things to come and share their beautiful sounds, to share the beauty of, uh, of their colors and their wings. All of those wonderful things come together in the midst of God's creation. And so my hope for you this week is that this weather will hold out and you'll be able to spend lots of time outside. I know my family this week was able to go up to Green Bluff and pick some, uh, some peaches. Whatever it is that you're able to do to get out into creation, I hope that you can do that. And my challenge this week for this first session is as you go outside to look for the ways that that God has created things or that humans created things or the ways that God and humans have worked together to create the world that we see around us. I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy your activities, that you get to play with some Play-Doh. Maybe you'll do some art. Whatever you do this week, remember that God loves you and that you are God's beloved child. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, and I'll look forward to connecting with you again soon. God bless you. Bye.